Hello everyone, I am Nutrix the Synth Guy. Today we're talking about the SE02 from Roland and Studio Electronics, specifically on how to use the sequencer and the song mode. So, in all the devices, part of the boutique series from Roland, uh, there's a lot of different types of sequencers. Most of them try to recreate the original classic device that the boutique model is actually trying to recreate. In the case of the SE02, they're not trying to recreate any analog or virtual device that existed before. They're just creating a new device that are actually a lot inspired by the classic analog style of synthesizer, like the original Moog series, like this Model D. The sequencer in this one is very powerful compared to others in the boutique series. So let's let's go through it together. I'll show you how it works. Okay guys, so before let's, we go into sequence mode and song mode, let's just talk about the patch mode here, these buttons here, what they do. We have compare, which is the top here, compare. So if you create a sound, you'll have a little value here that changes, you have a little dot that shows us it's different than what's in the memory. And if you want to compare, you press and compare. Now it's flashing. Now you're hearing what's in the memory and now you're hearing what you changed. So you can actually select which one you want before you save or not the changes you did. Then you've got play. If you press on play, these buttons now became, become keys. So that's cool. If you don't have a keyboard, um, because you don't have the, the ribbon controllers on this one, by pressing play, these become the keys to play. So it's possible. Then you've got transpose. You can transpose up or down. That's it. So this is really for playing and transpose. That's it. Turn it off. Let's go back into, now let's go into sequence. You go in the middle value here in sequence. The bottom one is song. Then all these value here are linked to sequence mode. So you're in sequence. If you turn this, you get like nothing. You press on note. Then you've got the note uh, value you can enter. You see these become steps now. It's a step sequencer. The green ones means that there is actually note value there and those are unlit means that they're rest they're just nothing playing now if you want to hear it you press on play which is here that's exactly like a control i'm here from nidzeheb if you know that song that's <laughs> it's so close to it Okay, so you can actually enter notes just by place all the notes, turn them off. Okay. So just turn them on and off as you want. Now, if you want to enter new notes, you can press and then press the key. So you can just press the step, you see the value on screen, and you press the key you want to play, and it goes to that one. Now, if you don't have a key and you want to enter that with the value, you can press on it and turn the value here to change the value one by one if you want to modify it, okay? Now, if you want to combine two notes, if you want to glide them, you press on glide. Turn it on, this will be gliding from seven to eight. Turn these on and they go glide together, they become one, so. Let's get rid of it for now. And you have gate. The gate is also interesting in the fact that they can all have a different gate. Now, if you're in gate mode and you turn it on like this, it's going to change globally. So every note will be changed to this value now. All of them have the same gate. Now, you want this to be longer, you press on this, turn the value. You want that note to be shorter, turn it down. This one to be longer, turn it back up. Okay? You can go up to 100. And, of course, down to one. Let's play that. Oops, sorry. Let's play that. OK. 
okay that one took is just very short the parameter that is the coolest part in this sentence the parameter in this sequencer means you can basically control any value you have here and can be recorded in time on one step so every step can have changes in the values I have to go in parameter press once press on it and change say cutoff going to be uh, close get the 9 I'm going to open it get the 12 I'm going to open it even more get the 15 close it and then let's press play this is just so cool and you say okay well on top of that I want to change um, here at uh, I don't know four or five I'm going to change the range of this one and on 13 I'm going to bring it down to here okay okay well that's too much here I'm going to press here I'm going to open it up again a little bit that is massively powerful so you can have it's not in real time but you can each step you can record all the parameters you want here to change now if you want to erase one you press parameter and you press on the key and it's going to be erased you get no parameter there anymore if you want to erase for all of them you press parameter and you turn this until you get to off press on off it's all gone you erased all the parameters and then you can do them again the way you want let's just do that again because i erased it let's go um, a little bit like this uh, open up maximum close it and reopen and go now the next step that is cool is when you look at perform here we're pressing perform now these value here are for the perform value so these are the one at the bottom here so 16th of a note eighth of a note quarter of a note and with triplets okay so basically we switch between them it will change the length of each of the note then you get shuffle more shuffle shuffle and then you can turn the value for more shuffle you get shuffle you can go up to 50 and minus 50 okay like what you usually have in most step sequencer then you've got this really cool thing which is direction this is something we saw on step sequencer in the past uh, in analog world you would have that so you have forward backward back and forth and randomized so it just plays the note in the normal fashion back it goes the up, it goes the other way and the back and the forward will play once and then back and then you know back and forth so you need to create a pattern that works really well for that and randomize it will go be, you know to play all the notes in that sequence but in a randomized fashion and of course when you say play the, the notes in this case it's not just a note they play the steps and some of the steps are also controlling values here now keep that in mind and just add to the top a notion that the sequencer can be used to control the internal sound but also can be used to just control external sounds because there's a cv gate outputs you can use this to control something else and there's also media so this could be the master of something else and there is an external input so you could send a drum let's say into this and with your parameter sequence that you would have here you could open a cutoff, uh, add some resonance or whatever you want or distortion to the sound coming in on tempo you know so that's pretty interesting on top of that you've got uh, sorry you've got uh, you just talked about tempo there's tempo is here so if you're in perform you press tempo and then you get the value of the tempo and you have first and last first and last uh, are you're in real time playing let's say let's go back to forward playing and you press play and then you can actually in real time change the first and the last note so you can select the part to play first and then you turn this
So you've got scale, shuffle, direction, first step, and tempo. That's in perform mode. If you want to do songs, you need to go into the song mode. First of all, you need to understand that the way they work, you can have 16 memories, okay? 16 memories of songs. And each of the song can have 16, 16 parts. Each of the parts can have a, a number of repetition. So you go into song mode. By default, you're probably into nothing is lit here. Sorry, you're in choosing one of the 16 memories. Let's say we're going to pick memory number nine. Press play. There's no song in it. Perfect. Then you press on edit. Keep in mind that we're using the bottom values here. So this one becomes edit. So then you've got access to these four. First one is pattern. Now keep in mind you've got these 16 parts. Each of them equals a moment in your song. Okay, from 1 to 16. And the moment one, 1. And say, so, okay, and then when I'm going to put this, the, the pattern number, I don't know, 12. So I'm entering pattern 12 into the first part. Pattern 12 will play here. And then I'll play pattern. I'm going to switch the sixth one, the second one here. And I'm going to enter pattern uh, 13. I don't know what that sounds like. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to switch to the next one. Pattern at uh, the part number three, going to be pattern 14. Perfect. So I've got these three patterns here, one, two, and three. And then the next step is to say how much, you know, how much uh, repetition I want from each of them. So I'm going to press this one again, sorry, blinks. Now it's blinking and show, it shows me the number of variation. And I'm going to say I want this to play two times. I'm using the number on top. Just keep in mind I'm not using the one at the bottom. So I want it to play two times. Let's take the next next one. This is going to play, I don't know, one time. And then third one is going to play um, two times. And wait, flashes, done. I want to hear it. Get out of edit mode and press play. <laughs> Okay, it's it's it just took it took so <laughs> random patterns. So, but I mean, you understand the linking of these. So you go in edit, you select the first one like here, which one you want. When you're there, you press gate. Actually, pattern. If it's blinking, it's the repetition. If it's not blinking, it's the pattern you want. So I want I want pattern number thirteen here. It's gonna be done. Go to the next one, thirteen and fourteen. Actually, I want to have fourteen. Fourteen sounded good. 14, and then it's going to be 15, and then it's going to be 14 again, okay? And when you press on it and it blinks, you're changing how much, how many repetitions. So two time, that's the next one I want it also to be two time, actually three time just for fun. Whoa, 20, oh, actually you can enter 23 times. You actually can enter 99 times if you want. So you choosing how long you want this to be for each of the 16 parts. Okay, and this next one's going to be just one, just for fun. So, and then again, let's try it again. Get rid of edit, press play. Try it twice, twice, and the, this one again once. Okay, that's it. So, pattern. Then there's patch. Now we heard the sound change between, you know, the parts, um, the pattern played. We want to change the patch now so it's the same. So we can say first one, I want to I want to have on patch. I'm going to press patch. In the first one, you've got A60, then you have B48, then you have A60. If I want the same number, I go to the second one and then I enter B60, uh, 60, and that's going to be changed. So now, when you change between parts, it will be the same patch. So you can have a different patch for each of the parts, and you can have a different pattern, of course, for each of them. Pretty cool. And then you've got insert. Of course, insert is you want to answer a new pattern here. So if I type 45, then you have four. So what was in two has been pushed to three, and what was in three has been pushed to four. So you just enter a new pattern here, okay? Same thing with delete. If I don't want to have that one, go delete and you go back. That one has disappeared and they move back to this one. Now if you want to save your song, you press on value and say memory number nine and you go yes. I want it again. Sure, yes. Sure. You press a third time and then it's saved on memory number nine. That's it.
that's the song mode. I hope that now it's easier for you to actually build your own patterns and songs. And if you have any songs you made with the SC02, put them in the comments and link it to your production so we can actually listen to them and see what you did with that. And uh, that's it. If you like what I'm doing, thumb up, subscribe, share it with your friends. I think that in the next month, I'll do something with a D05 to show how the D05 is working and all of that. That's it, guys. Cheers. See you next time.